Hello friends, imagine Zubsoft having flying or invisibility to distract himself from the inevitability of death while trying to fall asleep here, bringing you another Dota 2 video where we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. In particular, a theory that I have been putting to the test in pubs. Quelling Blade is a mandatory item for supports. Honestly, you probably think that I'm crazy, and I get that, so let me just get straight to the point here. The prototypical argument for the Quelling Blade support trick is that it allows you to cut trees and place amazing wards that would otherwise get dewarded if you didn't have a Quelling Blade. This is 100% a great selling point, but I wouldn't exactly say that it makes it mandatory on supports. And that's the thing. This is one of three core arguments for why you should buy a Quelling Blade on supports. The second argument is that you can cut juke paths in downtime and set up nigh impossible to dodge ganks on the enemy team. You can literally be playing against Arteezy and he will not expect a gank coming in if it comes from the trees. The third argument is that you can use it in a similar fashion to cut down juke paths and make yourself nearly impossible to kill while you're split pushing. And to top it all off, Quelling Blade is cheaper than ever and wards are completely free. So it's not even close to unreasonable to say that a position 5 should always be able to afford one of these in every game. So with that being said, let me show you a few examples of just what a Quelling Blade can do for you on a position 5. So first I want to show you an actual situation where I put down a ward in this game uh, using a Quelling Blade that was a good ward that got good information uh, that didn't get dewarded specifically because it was a Quelling Blade ward. Because I know there's a lot of, you know, hypothetical BS on this sort of thing, especially when it comes to warding. Here we have, I'm mid, I'm dewarding. Uh, the game is, you know, quite a, a decent gold lead, but still, you know, tower-wise it's relatively even, so it's not just so easy to walk into the enemy, enemy jungle and get good wards down. So, uh, just kind of chilling to the left here. And I noticed that, of course, they're playing in their jungle, they're losing, you can see OD there, he's like playing on his hill. I would have really liked to get some vision up there. And when he clicks me, I would assume that he is seeing that I have wards and he, that he's pinging his team. And uh, people in the previous video were saying, uh, one of my previous videos were saying, uh, people don't click items and, and that sort of thing, uh, which, you know, I, I totally accept. Uh, but with that being said, I think even a low-rated player that doesn't check items we'll see that a support was walking somewhere and we'll think that there was a ward placed there. So I don't even think it requires you to click somebody's inventory or communicate. I think it's just like a fairly obvious thing. Um, so either way, uh, what I do is I walk over here to the left, I cut this particular tree, and then I place a ward down. And so already this gives decent vision. This is what I would call a glimpse ward, aka it gives you a glimpse of somebody uh, so you can know where they are. But I would like for this to be more of a vision ward so I can actually have vision of somebody and potentially set up a gank on them or get enough time where I can click on them and see what they have, see where they're walking, like just get more information basically. So all I do is I Quelling Blade another tree. And to them, this just looks like their void or somebody who has a Quelling Blade was farming this camp and they, they cut the trees. But the thing is, a lot of people don't actually deward this high ground. They'll deward like over here or something like that. And the reason that they're not going to deward this high ground right now is because if I click to uh, Dire Vision like that, look at the Tower Vision. They would literally see me warding this high ground. So they, they know that I haven't placed a ward there because... The, the tower vision would show if I warded. That's the thing. It would, it would literally show on, the, on this, you know, dire side. So I can't realistically ward here without wrapping around the entire way, but they've been very defensive of their jungle. So having the Quelling Blade lets me get vision into this very crucial area without having to actually access it first. So because they didn't see me walking in to ward that high ground, watch where Marana wards. She comes in. Inventory full of wards and sentries. She places a normal ward on the high ground, and then she she places a sentry far away from the high ground. And this is obviously totally out of range of my ward. So she thinks that I probably have vision in the, in the jungle somewhere, but I couldn't possibly have walked up this direction and placed it here because, of course, I would be scouted. And the only other place is closer to the side of the jungle that we can actually access, which is towards the left side, and that's exactly where she dewards. Once again, just to verify that this wasn't just like a useless, hypothesized, theorized ward that like could hypothetically do really well, uh, I want to show you a fight that goes 
really well because they felt safe in this area, because they had de-warded this area. It's a, it's a simple Roche fight, and this ward gives excellent vision of Roche. Uh, look at this Void. He's kind of playing in the trees. He's hiding here. He's coming, and he's trying to hit a big Chronosphere. I nightmare him. The fight gets kind of split. We have all this information to play off of. We're able to set up all of these stuns on people because we have this ward vision. We see them walking up the high ground. We don't lose vision of them. We see Void farming the camp, so we know we can continue chasing these heroes. All of these decisions that we're making, even though they might be subconscious, I don't think we really talked about it in the game because it's a pub, uh, these are decisions that we're subconsciously going to be able to make because we have this information provided to us by this ward. Okay, so I want to give you full disclosure on this next thing that I'm about to show you. It's going to look absolutely hilarious, and it was definitely a bit of a fail in the game, but you can see the point that I'm trying to make here, and even though we ended up, spoiler alert, not actually getting the kill that we set up for, uh, part of the reason was we had a Jug disconnected, so Lena was actually microing Jug and herself, and so she TP'd bots, so she wasn't setting up with us. A few other reasons, maybe I'm just making excuses, but basically this looks funny, it looks hilarious, uh, but I, I hope you can get the point that I'm trying to make. So... Uh, once again, they're playing in their jungle, they're fairly safe there, we have about even control of the map, maybe we have a little bit more, and I'm just sitting in the trees, chilling, uh, my team doesn't want to fight, of course, we've, because we've a disconnected Jug, and so all I'm doing is I'm failing at Quelling Blading Trees, um, you know, cutting my way through this little path here. And this is always my argument for this, that if you're a position 5, you're spending most of your time just sitting in trees, like protecting your cores anyway, just playing near them, so why not do that in places where you can actually set up kills. Why not cut these little paths so that you can just be annoying? And look at this Void. I, I want to first just watch what happens from my perspective, and then watch his perspective, and watch him basically shit his pants at uh, what was happening here. So I placed this ward down first and foremost, just to have vision of this fight that I'm setting up here. I, I was thinking, okay, maybe there's going to be some fight happening, but maybe we can just sneak a free kill on this Void. I wasn't exactly sure how much damage Slaughter had. I was used to playing with the Lina, so... We're, you know, we were thinking, okay, we'll, we'll just go for we'll go for a kill on this guy. I peep out a little bit. I thought, okay, maybe he sees me. I quelling blade a tree. All of a sudden, he's caught. Uh, Slardar hits him, bashes him. Slardar runs away, says, hey, everybody's TPing in. Let's just call this space. I say, hey, man, you know what? I'm an offlaner. Uh, I'm just playing position five because I think quelling blade is a good item. Yada, yada. This is totally okay. I was fine with making space here, especially because my juggernaut was uh, disconnected. But look at his camera. Like, his camera's not even in a position <laughs> where he's gonna he's gonna be able to see me coming down from the trees because he doesn't expect anybody to come from there <laughs> look at his spam pings they're alt spam pings too so you know he's absolutely molding and then they come on me i feel very sad you know it's okay i'm a bane but just absolutely hilarious that even his camera position was in a place where man i would if, if i were to coach somebody i would actually criticize them for having hero centered camera position in that situation even though, ironically, having your hero centered on the camera would have scouted a Bane coming from above. But the whole idea is that, like, he has this camera there because he's an 8K player, and he's like, there's no way somebody's going to come from above, so I'm going to have the majority of the space on my screen be occupied by stuff that's potentially dangerous. And funny enough, I come from above. So, obviously, it didn't work out, but once again, I hope you can get the kind of idea that I'm trying to show you with this one. In front of us, we have a final clip that I want to show you. This is a clip of the third reason. It shows or demonstrates the third reason why Quelling Blade support is so good. Um, and that's the ability to split push and make yourself essentially a big pain in the ass to kill. And then this also results in this particular situation in a kill. This is LGD versus RNG. This is a pro match. This is the toppest of tier Dota that you can possibly find just to demonstrate that this is a real, you know, not meme thing. And uh, here we have this Shadow Shaman player who has been playing the entire uh, the entire game in this top lane, kind of just cutting through the trees, split pushing, dropping mass serpent wards on towers. Uh, he's been, you know, hexing people coming out of trees. Occasionally he'll do this and he'll literally just leave because there's a better fight, a more important fight that happens somewhere else. Uh, but that's the thing. In Dota 2, it's not about the you know, 80% of the time that you don't set up for a good play because the enemy team doesn't walk into you, it's about the time that it works and that you snowball because of this. So here we have this this kill that uh, obviously Chalice is not expecting. This Nature's Prophet has no... Well, maybe he is actually. He puts the, puts the, the trees down. But because of the Quelling Blade, 
our boy here on the Shadow Shaman is able to cut much deeper than he anticipated. And because of this, they have this fight that happens up here. Now, I'm not sure how this goes. This might actually go really horribly for them. Now, it looks like it's going pretty well. And so here's the thing. That, that just happened to result in a kill. If there wasn't a Nature's Prophet that teleported top and walked in to die, what would basically happen is he would just split push this tower, and then they would have to respond to it, and then they would have to run into the trees to search for him. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. One final thing that I want to say is that give this a chance. Try going Quelling Blade on your position fives, even if you're just queuing for roll queue tokens. I guarantee you it will make you enjoy the roll. It is so fun to murder people by standing in trees and coming out at angles that they're not expecting in such a slow-paced meta. Everybody's getting Midas. Everybody's picking Spectre. Everybody's farming side lanes. Feed off of these people by doing this. It is so damn simple. I didn't believe it when Trent Pax was trying to convince me of this at King's Cup 2. Way back in the day, he was telling me that Quelling Blade support is the new thing. I thought it was some niche thing just for warding. I was like, ah, I'm never going to do that. And here I am. I don't see why I'm not going to do it in every single game. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It unironically really helps for the YouTube algorithm and getting me views, which will help me with the garbage bin hobos and the situation with the insurance fraud. So I appreciate you, and I hope to see you in another video.